Hello and welcome, I'm Ethan or the E-Reader, this is Season 1, Episode 68 of the E-Reader Podcast, and this is my review of The Eye of the World, the graphic novel, Volume 1. Hello and welcome back to my channel, and as you can see in the title, today I'll talk about The Eye of the World, uh, the graphic novel, Volume 1. I say volume one because I was pretty stupid. Um, I got this on Google Play because uh, I absolutely couldn't find this book anywhere. And so I checked on Google Play. I, I never buy on Google Play because I just usually get it on my Kobo or something. And it wasn't on my Kobo either. So I just got it on Google Play. It was about 10 bucks and yeah. But I say volume one because I was reading this. I finished it uh, two minutes ago. It ended, it was 200 pages long and it ended, um, I actually, there's, there's not gonna be any spoilers, but let's just say it ended only at page 150 of the paperback Eye of the World. And I did some research after, there are six volumes, so the Eye of the World, the first book in the Wheel of Time series, is split up into six graphic novels. I never knew this, I didn't, uh, bother to check, so I just, I just thought that the graphic, no graphic novel included the whole book, and I just thought that, um, uh, that it would go really quickly, that they'd have to snip out some parts. But no, they kept everything in. Well, I was pretty dumb. It it only covered about 150 pages of the uh, paperback edition of The Eye of the World. And there are almost 700 pages. Uh, I know it's like, eight, there's like 750 pages of it. So as you can see, they've split up 750 pages of the novel. Um, into six volumes and i didn't know that and one downside of this is they're about like 10 or 12 dollars each and to buy six volumes that's gonna be about 70 dollars do i really want to spend 70 dollars on six graphic novels i don't know i was i was actually thinking like i don't think i'm gonna get the late the next graphic novels it was a good graphic novel the artwork was stunning it was amazing like, look at this artwork right here. I'll be showing you some on the screen. It's it's amazing. It's it the, uh, the artwork is absolutely fantastic. It was it was such a fun time reading this book. And, uh, I love the Eye of the World. It was a, it was a book that I read last, and it was this graphic novel really represented this book this this amazing uh, entry to the Wheel of Time perfectly. You could read these um, graphic novels, and you'd get the same information as reading the the real book. It, it's they don't leave out anything. You learn as much, and I would even say you learn um, a bit more because it, they're grabbing things late, from later in, in the book, not like spoiler things, but information you wouldn't have known in the first hundred fifty pages of the novel. And that's what that, that, this graphic novel was so so good. The artwork was. I just can't get over the artwork, it was just so, so good. And a few things to note that I really, really enjoyed was the design The design of the characters are just what I imagined the characters be like. And that, that is partly because Robert Jordan is such a good writer at um, crafting these characters and giving uh, life and uh, describing these characters is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I love the tone of it, it really felt like the art of the world. And yeah, that's. I just wanted to make a quick review, and I'm not definitely an expert at graphic novels, but I just really want to make this review because I love that graphic novel so much. I don't think I'll be continuing with the volumes of The Eye of the World because I just don't want to buy six volumes of The Eye of the World. Um, that's just not something I want to do. <laughs> I'd rather spend time reading The Wheel of Time, the series, than actually doing the graphic novel, but it, it was a really good graphic novel of the first almost 200 pages of the book. and. Before you buy it, it it doesn't it doesn't cover the book. Just note that it does not cover the whole Eye of the World book. It only covers about a fifth of the book, I would say. And if if you didn't know that, well, now you know. And if that's a downside of of uh, that you wouldn't want to buy the book, then uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't get it then. Uh, but it was definitely definitely a worthwhile experience. It took about an hour and a half to two hours. And it was really fun reading it. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I just want to make a quick review here. Thanks for listening. This has been my review of The Eye of the World, the graphic novel, volume one. Thanks for listening. See you next time.